Hey guys, it's Daniel Bates with Real Estate Tomato, and we're often asked about the best way to add a PDF to a website. Chris has already created a great tutorial that's in the library for how to upload and link to a PDF as well as how to frame in a PDF. The problem is that PDFs require a third party program like Acrobat uh, Reader. So um, most of you when you f even if you're framing it you're still going to have to um, grant permission with the program at Acrobat in order to see the actual PDF. Uh, but I'd like to show you a way today where you can have that Im properly embedded into your web website. It takes a couple extra steps but um, it may be worth it if you want to display a PDF in this manner. Now uh, my concern is all with PDFs, as always, is just to let people be aware that you're not getting any real SEO bonus for a PDF. It's it's just like an image for Google. It can't really read any content that's in there. And but but there is an obvious trade-off in that a PDF you can make look um, exactly how you want, and you can style it how you want. You can also allow people to download it, and it will print better than um, printing a regular post on your website might. So there's definitely a um, some advantages and disadvantages with PDF. But as you can see, the website that I'm going to show you today is called Issue and it's ISSUU.com. And just to give you a little example of it, this is a client of ours over at GreenEarthEquities.com. And this is an example of a PDF that he's added. He's actually created this in Slideshow um, program and then he's tr um, transferred it into a PDF. But as you can see, this is how the PDF will perform on the website and it basically looks just like a slideshow that you can go through on your own time. He uses these to teach classes um, and he already creates the PDFs um, so it wasn't an extra step for him. Now you can also uh, click view in full screen and it'll pop it out to a big full screen so if you're concerned about the size of things. And then finally you can also always upload the program also following Chris's tutorial to WordPress and have this option for people to download it if you want. And if you um, framed it in it would look something like this. Um, but again to start off I want to show you how to use issue. So the first step is you'll have to create an account and then you'll just have to upload your PDFs. Once you've done that you can select a PDF and you can click embed and this is going to be the embed um, program for how to add it to your website. And they give you a pretty good amount of customization. The first thing you're going to want to do is click on WordPress so that we can make sure it knows who we are and, and where we're going to be adding this. Um, the next thing that you've got here is a layout option. What I was showing you was the single page layout. This two up makes it kind of look like a book, which is neat. But you're going to need, uh, but, but my concern, I guess, is that you're going to need some wider sidebars. You might have to remove a sidebar. You need a wider content section in order to pull this off, or just much smaller um, font and everything. So experiment with that. Um, you might also have to use this custom size in order to get it stretched out to the maximum on your. Um, on your content section. So for this website, for instance, we used a 500 wide pixel um, custom size. He also chose the black background. You can choose whatever background you want. And then there's a couple more options down here. There's auto flip, which I don't really suggest. Um, let you know, let your readers proceed how they want to, not every six seconds or whatever it suggests. And then I haven't really experimented, but there's this audio option too, where you can play music or what have you in the background. So not a big fan of it, but if, if you need that option, you can. Anyway, once you're finished with that, you can scroll up here, select this code, and then we want to do two things. If it's the first time you've ever used Issue, you're going to want to go to plugins on your website and scroll down and activate the WP Issue plugin. So that needs to be active before you can use this program. Then finally, you just want to create a new post and you can write whatever you want to write before or after the um, before or after the you add the code. But to add the code, we want to make sure we're on the HTML tab, and we just want to paste it right in there. And as you can see, it generates this code. And then when you hit publish, it's going to be active um, just like I demonstrated, just like this on your website. So that's it for me and showing you how to use issue. If you have any questions, as always, please email molly at realestatetomato.com. Thanks. Bye.